Awkward. Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage, Marriage Mornings. I'm your host, Melanie Studley. Good morning, my name is Seth Studley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. And today is day 89 of the Infinity Day Marriage Morning Challenge. And today's title is Routines During Craziness. And today's show is brought to you by audibletrial.com. No, not, <laughs> no. Yes, it it's is. brought to you by Audible. The, it's brought you to you by Audible. Free Sorry. Book. Yes. <laughs> Go to audibletrial.com forward slash anatomy of marriage to literally get a free book and we a free audiobook. A free audiobook. We live on Audible. Yes. We, we do. consume so many books there and it's been awesome. I drive a lot. She does a lot of stuff here. So we're we're taking uh, advantage of the time. Mm-hmm. This is like lame time. So audible.com. Yes. Go there. Go to we'll, Audible. Dot co- no, audibletrial.com Trial. forward slash anatomy of marriage and you can get a free audio book. Um, That's right. And trust us, do it. We yeah, will give you recommendations it. because it's we love Audible. It's free. So, okay. Anyway, no. if you're new here, welcome. We have over 100 episodes that are different styles than this. We have long format, highly produced. We have episodes where kids talk about divorce, where adults talk about divorce, expectations, all those things. Mm-hmm. So please check those out. They are amazing. They're wonderful. You're going to love them. Right. Um, and you can join us every day live on Facebook and Instagram. So if you hear us saying hello to people, that's what we're doing. They're, they're yeah. here with us and we're saying hello to them. We're creating um, community every single morning. That's right. Right. And we also encourage you to do marriage mornings with us. So marriage mornings, like I said, is a different thing. But do it with us. Do it with your partner. Ask the questions to each other that we're talking about. This is a great, quick way to connect with them every single day and be intentional. So we do four things every marriage morning. Uh, we do a prayer, a past gratitude, a future hope, and a goal. I know Instagram Live isn't working. I don't know. We are just yeah. going to kind of ignore it. You but uh, sorry. <laughs> well, I was responding to the okay. question. But anyway, okay. we do a, pair, a prayer, past gratitude, future hope, and goal. I'm going to pray today. How about Go that? For it. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of our blessings, God. I pray that we lean into your strength to give us strength today and to just slay this day in the best sort of way. Amen. Wow. It's a poem prayer. Alliteration <laughs> prayer. Um, okay. Past great. gratitude. I'm just thankful that, again, that you contacted the guy at ELP for selling the house. Yeah. I really, really like him. I feel so good about it. And I'm thankful that you're just like, all right, go time. And then we just like pedal to the metal. I was going to say that about you. No, it's my gratitude. No, seriously. You uh, you are a ride or die kind of lady. Mm. You know what I mean? That sounds like, exciting. <laughs> Let's ride. You're, we're going. It's time. And it's just instant go time. What are we going to do? What is this? What is this? And you've always been that way. So In it to win it. I know you are. So I, really, I actually haven't always been that way. I really, yeah, well. FYI. Um, mostly. So thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Future hope today is I'm not feeling so good, but we got a bunch of work to do. Mm-hmm. So I have to go to work for a minute and then taking some sick time <clears throat> and then I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I Well, that wasn't a hope, but I love that you told me that. I have a hope that we get a lot done and my goal is to get a lot done. I hope that it's fun while we get the work done. It's arriving again. Get it done, make, it fun. <laughs> make it fun and get it done. Okay. Yeah. And that's a goal. So you guys, today we're talking about routines during craziness. We're not going to make it all about us. So you have a 70s look. Seven look. <laughs> you just worked out. So, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Have a cigarette too, hanging out of my mouth. 70s. I don't know. I wasn't alive during the 70s. Okay. Anyway, today's show is routines during craziness. And I can think of times where our lives have been crazy. Right now, we're on the peak of that. And we're, you know, on on top of the roller coaster and we're fixing to dive in. Times when we've had kids. Times when you've had surgery. Times when other things have Our kids have had surgery. Crazy. Right. So think about a time in your life when it was crazy. And uh, maybe, maybe a time when it was sudden. And you just had to literally react or a time where we know it's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. So I want to really be proactive in this. And uh, as you know, we we signed paperwork yesterday to put the house on the market, which is nuts and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's super great blessing. So our world is changing, right? So how can we literally anticipate some of the changes like uh, talking to the kids, checking in with them, making Mm -hmm. sure that literally things are okay. Hey buddy. Hey sis, tell me what you're thinking around this. And we just have a conversation. And I think that is even more important for you and I to be like, okay, let's lock eyes. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations for the day? How can I help? How can you help me? Like the most clear communication is really an opportunity for ultra clear Mm -hmm. communication and really bonding time. If you think about it, because one year from now, we're going to think about, oh, that move was the worst. We were fighting, blah, 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 all this stuff. Or we're going to say, that was super stressful, mm-hmm. but you and I, through we proactivity, mm-hmm. it was good, mm-hmm. right? So what are your thoughts about that? Well, the thing that I, the, the image that keeps coming to mind is that uh, the verse, it's not a verse, it's a 
quote that someone talks about. Uh, you like if you have an orange and you squeeze it, the only thing that comes out is orange juice. Right. <laughs> you no know? matter if you smash it or roll yeah. over it or it's dissolve. never gonna like lemon juice will never come out of an orange. Right. And so what what I think of when I see this is that and this is again it's totally related to how I used to be and how I am now. Mm -hmm. When things were stressful in the past, I was like default to blame like yeah everyone it was everyone else's fault i was not going to take responsibility for it and, mm -hmm. it and you have to make it better mm -hmm. and you're a jerk if you don't and i'm perfect everyone should love me <laughs> um and i and i would literally like i would be under pressure and i would just cave and be a total idiot and be mean to people and be ugly to them and i'm talking like two years ago i would do that maybe mm -hmm. three years ago i would do that and um or two weeks ago <laughs> and now uh now I I saw that pattern. I saw and and we went through enough hard things in the last few years. Like, um, you know, Mariner had his appendix out, and then like a day later, I had my no, not a day, but like a month later, right. I had my appendix out. I was hus I've been hospitalized for a bunch of different things, and that gave me this. And actually, too, the fear of flying, having to fly places with children or without children. It's like something switched in my brain to say I can do this well instead of tear apart my family when I go through stress. Do you think that um, something switched in addition to that thought you just said that you discovered that you had more control over things than you mm -hmm. thought? Yes, and it's, it kind of goes back to we did an episode like, will being upset make this better? Right. And it's, I think of like, I imagine like bringing a three-year-old into the room when you're in an argument. Will that make it better? <laughs> Definitely that, not. That was a good point, and that's right? what I was doing. Every time I got upset, every time something was challenging, I was so weak that I brought my inner three-year-old into the ring, mm. and I went, <laughs> See? I bet this will help. Right. And I, I, and I saw it, and it, I think it came from traveling, honestly. I think it was a flight that I wanted to get really upset on, and I was yeah. like, wow, that will only be worse I if I get I, re mad. I remember that. Like, yeah. You, you, I can just look at you, and I know that you're like dying inside. Why did we get this flight? Blah, blah, blah. But you, you I, I saw the switch happen mm -hmm. one time. I was like, okay, yeah. that is rad. And then I want to try to support yeah. you and as so, much as possible. Yeah, and so in all of that, going back to like realizing that I had a part to play in how I responded to things. I'm the only person responsible for how I behave. Um, and then, you know, when you squeeze a fruit, the real juice of it comes out. And right. the real juice of me was just like, being a jerk to everybody and blaming mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and so it was with that mindset that helped me understand how can I go through difficult situations and have positivity be actually helpful right create solutions instead of more problems by being upset about the problem right that right. only creates more problems so there's this other quote and uh, yes I'll kind of mash it up but the idea is we only perform to the level of our training like we don't rise to the level of that's you, good. You, you you rise to the level of as much as you've trained. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm going to run a marathon and I don't do anything, I'm going to perform in the marathon obviously to the amount that I trained. If I trained or too, didn't, yeah. Or, or didn't, right? So <clears throat> what I'm saying in this whole thing, routines during craziness, how you stay cool under pressure, we are going to perform, do all this move stuff, communicate uh, connect, live well to the level that we expect to and to the level that we prepared for. Yeah. So how many, literally, podcasts do we con uh, consume yeah. and growth and all this stuff? How many times do we talk? How proactive are we? That is how high we're going to go. Because mm -hmm. you can't go higher than you... If your ladder reach. doesn't reach that far. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you can only go as high as your ladder goes. That's, I guess. that's exactly but right. But you can make your ladder higher. But you can make your and ladder that takes higher. Intention and communication, understanding, prayer, mm -hmm. prayer, prayer, prayer hey, all of those things. Um, but okay, do we need to wrap up right now? Yes, we do. We're doing so, ten minutes this morning because Instagram stuff. We have so. well, we've got a crazy day as well. We have to paint, move furniture, stage the house, all yes, that. Yes. So stuff. I want to talk. Uh, we again, we do Audible all the time. We love it. It's absolutely an asset in our asset category. You can go to uh, audibletrial.com forward slash anatomy of marriage for a free audiobook. Yeah, and your first maybe one's tomorrow free. we'll just do a bunch of recommendations. I would start with Kyle idea. Cease's I Hope I Screw This Up. It's amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. Please rate and review the podcast if you like what we're doing. And y'all have got this. Have an amazing day. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye.